video. Today we're going to be looking at TIMA ETFs. This is the TOL, T-O-L-L, TIMA Monopolies and Oligopolies ETF. Today's March 30th, 2024. Let's get in, into it. The fund's objective is it is an actively managed uh, fund. It seeks to provide long-term growth by investing in the companies operating in monopolistic industry structures characterized by sustainable competitive advantage and high explicit and implicit barriers to entry. These companies tend to generate high returns on invested capital. Why toll? Mission critical. Monopolies typically occur in industries where products and services have immense value to customers with few substitutes. Pricing power. Whether implicitly or explicitly, monopolies command pricing power, which can help drive earnings growth and mitigate cost pressures on margins. They're defensive. High barriers to entry, such as regulation, can help create defensive earnings streams. Growth. Stable defensive revenue growth and prudent cross cost management can potentially lead to long duration earnings growth and quality. Businesses with sustainable competitive advantages have a potential to generate consistently high returns over the long term. Key facts. Toll has been around since May 10th, 2023. It currently has 7.4 million assets under management. Morningstar does not yet have a rating for this, but they consider it a global large market cap currently has 32 underlying holdings and 97.6% of that is equities. Uh, it does not generate income through options trading, uh, no derivative income. It is an actively managed fund. It is not a leveraged or an inverse ETF. Key statistics. The expense ratio on this fund is a gross of 0.99%, but if you look, they have a net of 0.75%. Um, it does not have enough information yet for a PDE ratio. It does distribute dividends annually. Its last dividend was 10 cents per share. The current share price is $31.35 per share. There is not yet enough information to find the portfolio turnover rate or a predicted 12, trailing 12 month distribution yield um, or a 30 day yield since it's only had one distribution since it's been out. Its year to date total return, however, is 8.18% with a lifetime total return of 23.38 since May of last year. The management team is made up of five uh, main people. There is a advisor and sub-advisor, and we have also reviewed NEOS Investment Management in a previous video on this channel before. They have combined about 24 years experience between them managing this. <clears throat> The index that this tracks is the MSCI World uh, Index Benchmark. The number one holding is San Fran SA at 5.8%, followed by Airbus number two at 5.32%, number three Moody's Corp at 4.95%, followed by Visa Class A at 4.87%, Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited at 4.46%, Canadian National Railway Co. at 4.32%, Vinci SA at 4.23%, Intercontinental Exchange, that's ICE, at 4.03%, S&P Global Inc. at 3.80%, and lastly, Sherwin-Williams Co. at 3.46%. The equity sector breakdown looks a little bit like this. The industrials come in number one at 39.64% of the fund, financials 24.16% of the fund, and third, information technology at 15.63% of the fund. Healthcare follows at 11.94%, followed by materials at 6.91%, and lastly, communication services at 1.72%. This uh, ETF toll has a very wide uh, geographic footprint, 57.62% uh, located in the U.S., France is 10.11 at number two, Canada at number three, 8.82%, Netherlands 8.58%, Spain 6.61%, Denmark 3.12%, followed by the United Kingdom at 2.36%, Germany at 1.75%, and then lastly Switzerland at 1.02%. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do not take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and we will see you in the next dividend review video.
Hi, I'd like to take a minute to share with you some of our affiliate partners. Charles Schwab, you can sign up through the link below uh, in the description or through this QR code. Uh, they are offering cash deposits when you make a deposit into a Charles Schwab account. We use Charles Schwab here on this platform uh, for the research that we provide. Fidelity has an amazing e-money partner link. Uh, you can combine all of your online accounts and it gives you a, a awesome experience. It's called uh, Fidelity Full View. Robinhood is an amazing mobile experience. Uh, it's got a fun app, easy to use. Uh, very awesome brokerage account. Uh, customer service is great. Thank you guys so much again. We hope we can help you out and see you guys in the next video.